Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all gonna be about my phone switch that I made one year ago. I'm gonna talk about my journey, about the advantages and disadvantages and what I learned from one year without like a smartphone. I would say if you're really interested in this topic then just watch the whole video because it's gonna be very interesting and I hope even helpful for the people that really want to make the switch too. I bought this phone one year ago for I think 27 euros and 95 cents. I don't know what type of phone this is but it's like a basic Nokia actually and yeah that's basically been my phone for the last year. Also if you want to see a video about all the advantages and disadvantages of both phones and how I made the switch actually then you should also check out my other video I made about my phones which I will link down in the description and also link up here. So now it's time to go briefly over all the advantages and disadvantages I found about my smartphone and dumb phone and first off I'm gonna start with the smartphone. So I think this thing is really fast, you get access to everything, you've got Wi-Fi, you can go on Google, you can go on all the apps that are out there, you can like socialize with people you normally never see, plus you can take a lot of pictures with this thing. But a smartphone is also a time consuming product which means there's like a lot of time wasted. Also when people meet in real life they're not always talking to each other, they're also on their phone which means they're not kind of socializing with each other at the moment. You're less in the present moment and I experienced myself that I always spiral down with TikTok and I stayed more inside of the house with my phone. Then my brick phone or dumb phone whatever you call it I think this thing is so handy, like it fits in every single pocket. You really don't get spammed by all the messages of social media and that kind of stuff. You can really be in the present moment and talk to everyone around you because you have no other thing to do. And it has a low charging time. And one more advantage I think is that people are also interested in a dumb phone. So they will like ask questions about your switch and I think it's just nice to start a conversation sometimes. But it is really slow, has no Wi-Fi, has no apps. I can barely take any pictures with this. I think I have only three pictures with this phone because like my card is full. But I really enjoy playing Snake sometimes. Okay, I hope you guys always understand what I'm saying because I'm talking like pretty fast but I just want to fit everything into this video because there's just so much to talk about. But anyways, I'm gonna make a coffee real quick because I am thirsty and I need to stay awake for the whole day. So yeah, why I initially changed to a dumb phone? Well, I thought it was like something that nobody ever experiences and I really wanted to get out of my comfort zone so I thought this was an amazing option. And it was also like to see if it was still achievable to live without a smartphone. And basically I also had no plan for how long I would stick with my dumb phone. It was just like something I did very impulsively and yeah. But also I thought this was an amazing way to minimize my digital activity. Plus it was for me a way to just be less on my phone and more in the present moment which is also a big 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 advantage I think. Okay, so I got my coffee. Still hot, I think I'm also gonna add some milk, but yeah, it's good coffee. So now I actually wanna talk about how to make the switch from a smartphone to a dumb phone, like things that made my journey easier. And I think one of the biggest things that helped me is like deleting apps step by step. So I first off started by deleting TikTok, then Snapchat, and then Instagram and all that kind of stuff. So once every week or something like that I deleted one more app and that's how I gradually moved to a dumb phone because at the end I didn't have anything to do on my smartphone so there was no interest anymore and then I switched to a dumb phone. Also things that could make it easier is to get a laptop or an iPad and a camera so you can still take pictures or go on social media on your laptop or iPad. Um, it's also very important to be impulsive because it's like a big change in your life and you can also get motivated and enthusiastic by watching other people who have done the switch and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that were 
basically my only tips on how to make this switch easier. So then you're wondering why am I changing again to a smartphone? Well, I think that my year was wonderful, I learned and experienced what I wanted and I think the smartphone is overall still more convenient. Sometimes you will just need certain apps like Google Maps for example is something I could use when I went on city trips with my friends and then they always had to search the way to a certain place which was kind of annoying for them and I felt bad because I couldn't help like searching the way so that's why I think Google Maps is like a pretty handy app to still like get your way around in cities or places that you don't know. I also missed uh, voice messages and video messages with my friends um, when I was like from home. So normally I couldn't do that but I think with a smartphone you can do that and sometimes that's like enjoyable. In addition if you want to take a lot of pictures a smartphone is still the most handy thing there is on the market. and. Also, when you want to use social media, a laptop is like less convenient than a smartphone. Plus, I got some big trips planned for next year and I really don't want to get lost in Australia or South Africa. And with my dumb phone, just like I can't, I can't use it over there, I think. Um, maybe it is possible, but for safety, I'm just going to use a smartphone. <laughs> then there are also some situations where you just need a phone and I'm just thinking for everyone, but when you want to call an Uber for example or you want to use an online trade ticket, Google Maps, you want to scan a QR code, you always will need a smartphone, you know? That's just stuff you cannot do with a dumb phone and I think this makes it like a lot harder to like choose for a dumb phone and it is not fair that people cannot freely choose because they will have to deal with some disadvantages eventually. But anyways, that's just something to take into account if you want to switch. My chickens are over here, so if you hear chicken noises, then you know what's going on. But anyways, if I reflect on my year, I think it went pretty easy. I think that's also because I still had social media on my laptop and a camera to take pictures. And friends who like wanted to search the way on their phone um, for me. But I think overall it was like not as hard as I thought it would be. And also I think that my shame of not having a smartphone and having a dumb phone faded away eventually because in the beginning I was like very shy with my dumb phone but eventually I was like oh people are actually interested in it and they think it's cool so I took less pictures way less pictures actually and I didn't think it was bad or something like if I have my phone I love to take pictures and all that kind of stuff but the option wasn't there and I didn't think it was so bad and one of the best things I find is when you're waiting in a queue Everyone gets on their phone, like everyone, because they don't want to get social interaction. They're just like, I don't want to be here, I just want to be like at my destination, but I have to wait, so I'm, I don't know what to do. But I couldn't do that, like I could not check all the messages, like there were almost no messages to check. So I just had my dumb phone in my pocket and I was just staring around and sometimes I could talk to strangers, you know, so... A very important lesson. At school it was sometimes annoying that teachers asked us to take out our phones to like complete a task or something and I couldn't do that so I always had to like look with other people um, and also my teachers were also like always surprised if they saw my phone but it worked out fine so no problems. I do have to admit that sometimes I needed my smartphone, like I never made a rule for myself that I couldn't use my smartphone ever, but sometimes when I needed to organize a lot of stuff or when I did volunteering work where I needed to take pictures, I just needed my smartphone and I couldn't do that without one, so that's when I changed to a smartphone for just like a day or for a few hours. Um, or when I needed to call through messenger, like my laptop couldn't do that anymore somehow so that were kind of situations where I needed to switch to a smartphone for a day or so but I didn't find that too bad and I think the dumb phone experience is just a unique one and something that not a lot of people can talk about of my generation at least but the biggest difference I find is during the day when you're just going to work or school or wherever you're going to you're just not having the opportunity to go on any laptop or any kind of that stuff. So that's when I find that I was almost never online 
while when I was home I could go on my laptop and all that kind of stuff. Then two more things I experienced on my journey is that I experienced a lot more other things like food or gardening and all that kind of stuff. Like I could go out and explore other things that I would normally never do. And I don't know if this is a good one but I actually cared less and less about receiving messages. I didn't answer fast anymore and in some way that's good because like you can let go of messages and you can decide when and if you're gonna respond but sometimes people <laughs> need an answer real quick so okay that's maybe a disadvantage but it's where you see it on the spectrum you know So now I really want to go over all the lessons that I learned in the past year and the first one I think is that people actually don't really care if you're having something else in the majority. So in the beginning I was really concerned if people were gonna laugh at me or if they were gonna make strange faces at me for having a dumb phone but actually people don't really care and even more they're sometimes kind of interested in what I have because it's something else than the rest has. So yeah, that's basically the first thing I learned. People don't care and you should just live your life as you want it. Then the second lesson that I learned is that people are actually so busy with their phones they cannot have normal conversations anymore. And of course, this doesn't count for everybody or for every situation, but I think overall, when I couldn't get on my phone, I just looked around and I saw so many people that were just hanging out with others and constantly being on their phone. like. Can you please just talk to each other in a normal way and not get on your phone constantly, you know what I mean? So that was something that I noticed over the past year. And I also think there's so much more to explore than just being on your phone. Like you can, you can explore so much and if you want to see more ideas on what you can do without a phone, then you should also check out my other video. I will also link that video in the description and up here. It's a video about all the things you can do without a smartphone um, or just off your phone. And I think there's just so much to do besides going on your phone. Then also what I already kind of talked about is when you get messages, you decide if and when you're gonna respond and it doesn't matter how long it's taking you to respond. You really don't have to reply immediately and it's up to you whether you're gonna respond or not and you just gotta take your time for it and if you're not comfortable with answering immediately then just let the message for what it is and answer it when you want and if you can, you know. Then the next lesson I learned is that smartphones are actually not that smart. I think, of course, phones, they know everything or a lot, but they make us dumb in some way. Like we can search for everything, but we will forget it immediately after we looked it up. And I think a smartphone just holds us back from exploring other things in our lives. And that's why I think a smartphone itself is not really dumb, but it makes us dumber. So in that way, it's also like a dumb gadget or something like that. So the last lesson that I learned is that we can get out of our comfort zone and that we can change and I don't know if I've already mentioned that in this video but I just decided to change again to a smartphone a few days ago after one year so um, I think for now that's the plan but I would definitely do this journey once again in the future I think a dumb phone is such a nice device and I would really like to use it again in the future because I feels very peaceful and calm when I'm using that thing. And I also noticed a lot of people in the comments said that they were also changing to a dumb phone again or that they were very interested in this kind of topic. So maybe, maybe someday there's gonna be a dumb phone revolution, who knows. So I mentioned that I'm again changing to a smartphone but I really needed to figure out first how to minimize my time on this thing because I still think it's very time consuming. So here I got some tips for you. One, you can make a deal with yourself to not go on your phone certain times of the day like for example the first hour in the morning or one hour before you're going to sleep or just some random times during the day. Two, turn off your notifications of all your social media or certain apps that you're really addicted to. You will just not receive any more notifications so it will take more time to just go on the app and explore if you got some messages or not and you will not get spammed as much as you would get with notifications turned on. Then three, switch off your phone completely or set it in 
airplane mode or turn off your Wi-Fi. That are all options that you can do to just go less on your phone. Then four, minimize the amount of apps you got on your phone. Like if you don't have a lot of apps, your phone is basically kind of unusable so you will not always get on it. Then five, you can also make a rule with yourself to not get your phone into your bed or just put it always far away so you will not be able to get it as fast and quick as you want it to. And then the last tip I got for ya is to just turn off your sound for messages and notifications so you can check your notifications and messages whenever you want and not by a sound that's going off, you know. Then the last section of this video is about you guys and about all the comments I received during my last video. I am so thankful for the amount of comments and, and views and likes that video got. Like, it kind of blew up on my channel personally. But there were just so many people that were also interested in going back to a dumb phone or that already made a switch or that are planning on making a switch. And I was just like, wow, there are just so many like-minded people with like same goals or same interests and that really made me wonder like how many people are out there also going back to a dumb phone. I think the number would be great and greater than we actually think. But there were also people that did a slightly different variation of my dumb phone. Like I also learned from you guys that there are also other phones besides the Nokia that I have with still Wi-Fi or WhatsApp or certain apps. So you will just be less on your phone but you can still have access to Google Maps for example or Google and I think that's also a very very good idea and something to try out in the future maybe and I also read from you guys that minimizing your phone could do like so much so that's what I'm gonna do right now with my smartphone I'm gonna minimize it as much as possible and I hope I will not get addicted again okay so basically this was the entire video I hope I learned you something and that this video was helpful if you're getting onto the journey or if you just want to minimize your phone I really really hope that I could inspire some people or that I could help some people. Sometimes I know I was just talking very quick or not pronunciating very well, but I just wanted to fit everything into this video because I think there's just so much to talk about and I could like talk about this topic for hours and hours. But anyways, I gotta finish somewhere and I hope I learned you enough about this topic for this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys got to the end and you can also leave a like if you want to or subscribe if you want to and I'll see you guys really soon in another video.